today I'm gonna play with the newest multi-style hair tool. This is by the brand Chi. This is their Vibes Wave On multi-functional waver retail for $89.99 at Ulta. It's supposed to wave your hair, curl your hair, and then crimp your hair. And it's very different because you can see the plates, how they kind of curve over each other. It's reminding me a little bit of the GHD Oracle. It has these little bends in the plates and you clamp it together and then it somehow magically styles your hair. The reason why I'm saying I'm not sure what this even does is because online there are no tutorials on how to actually wave your hair using this. So this is the only way, the crimping method of how they show online. There is no tutorials on how to wave your hair. We'll do it all together. Let's figure this out. Let's turn this on. And I do love how beautiful the packaging is. It does feel really cheap. It feels like there's some kind of coating and it feels like they sprayed paint in this and then there's some bumps actually right here. I don't know if you can hear that. Hear that? That's the paint, that's not flat. It's not, I don't know, it just it feels like there's some kind of dust that was sitting on the tool and then they painted over it and that's what it feels like. So it feels a little cheap and it looks a little cheap, especially on some parts right here where the paint is already scratched off or whatever this coating is, it's already scratched off and it's kind of making me nervous because I don't want this going on my hair. But you do have five temperature settings. The lowest is 250 degrees Fahrenheit up to 410 Fahrenheit. Let's go 410. And I like how my nails match the packaging as well. It's a very beautiful packaging. It's really fun. So some unique features of this, of course, you have the unique curved plates and the plates are ceramic coated. Oh, these are rose gold ceramic coated plates and they're supposed to add shine and reduce frizz, which is really nice. So you have a very long cord. It's extra long with a nice Velcro loop belt. So let's do this. I'm thinking we're going to do one side, try to do more of the curls and then this other side do the waves where you just kind of crimp it down and how they show it on their social media pages and on their website. My hair, this is natural air dried wavy hair that I have and it's frizzy. So let's see if we can make this look beautiful, shiny and frizz free. All right, so I'm gonna grab a section of hair. Again, there is no instruction. So we're just gonna go by what we think we should do. And because the plates right here, it's going away from my face. Like see this one's going towards, I'm gonna make sure it's going away from my face. So I don't go against the plate. Clamp it in and give it like a good 90 degree and just drag it down. And I'm basically copying what the GHD Oracle does. Some moisture in my hair. Oh, well that worked. Look at that. All right, that was quite easy. Let's go towards my face. Oh, I have a lot of moisture in my hair. It worked. I will say that it's not really adding shine to my hair. It's not really smoothing my hair out like a typical flat iron. Like I feel like you can, the bottoms, they still look quite frizzy and just not the best. But I do like how quite easy that was. What other way should we try this? I'm thinking let's do, flip this around and we'll do this and just go straight down, see what this does. That does nothing, but it kind of crimps your hair at the same time. See that underneath? Weird. What? Wait, how did that happen? Okay, so don't hold it horizontally and twist it. Let's do it this way. I like that you just barely have to twist. Look at that. That really didn't do much. All right, let's twist it more. doesn't want to do it now. Oh, my hair doesn't feel good after that crimp. Are we dead? <laughs> what is going on here? Sis, what happened? Interesting. On this side, let's try just clamping it down like a waver. Probably kind of hold it a little bit longer so they stay. 
I mean, I'm on the highest heat also. 410? Yeah. It's not waves, like, like I it's wouldn't. Not what the picture looks like. Huh? No. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but yeah, no. For a crimper slash waver, I would just go for those three prongs, those three big barrels. That way, it looks a little more consistent. You can get a lot of hair, a lot of hair at once. That way, you're not doing such tiny little sections. And this is not even doing that great of a job, like. It's frizzy. It's too small. It's too small. Yeah, I'd rather, yes. like Jackie was saying, just use your flat iron, just create those bends. It's a lot better. It's a, it looks a little more natural. And like, this literally just leaves creases in your hair. It doesn't leave a nice bend. And you can't really do big sections either because it's not heating through the hair. Oh, that looks so bad. And it doesn't smell good. What is that? Wait. That's <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah, do that all over your head. I'm trying to make this work, I'm trying to make it look good. Personally, this is not great. I'm just trying different methods, techniques, just to see if we can make this look good. All right, that looks a little better, but it's just frizzy. I mean, that looks pretty good. I feel like that's how you can make it look good. It's just alternating of how you hold this right here. That's just so much work. Yeah, so it doesn't give that. So it doesn't give that. Cramp. Yeah. So I'm just basically flipping the tool around back and forth on the same section. Ugh, it's just so frizzy. Try to figure out what happened here. I'm so confused right now. Let's twist it a little bit more. Like you see how the hair is sliding out? Yeah. Like it doesn't even hold the hair in nicely. Oh, that's better. This is the worst part, it just keeps sliding out. Oh, this is the one that crimps. So if you yeah. go against the sharp edge, you see that crimping? Uh -huh. So it crimps. So I going think... against, away from the sharp edge, like for example, having it like this is fine. But when you flip it around, having that cheese, see so you're going against. I feel like it curls it one way and then you're trying to recurl it the other way. That's yeah. what it's doing. I just feel bad for the health of my hair now. Wow, that's... No wonder they took a close-up of the hair and not like the full styled hair. Okay, so I'm really struggling with this tool. There were some times when it somehow worked and then I would do the exact same thing and it wouldn't work. And then I just got really confused. <laughs> really confused. So overall, I'm looking like a hot mess on both sides. We're not sure which side work, looks worse. I would say probably my left side just because there are some waves, some curls, 
and then there's some crimping in between those waves and curls and there's some straight pieces with crimping also. And then on this side, at least, you know, it's it's looking a little more consistent. It's very frizzy. It's not very nice, but I mean, this tool is just all around a hot mess. Let's just be honest, especially for the price. It's way too finicky. It just, it does not look good. It doesn't perform well. There's way too much confusion around this tool <laughs> and the result is a hot mess. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not even gonna recommend this tool because there's so many other great tools on the market. There's great bed waivers. There's the Bondi Boost, the three barrel one. If you want just a regular flat iron, there's phenomenal. Even she has really great phenomenal flat irons. So I just, I can't sit here and recommend this tool because it is not great. I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Thank you for spending time with me and this really hot mess of a tool. And I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.